Good afternoon. Welcome to Martha's Kitchen. Uh, first thing, I don't think I'm going to need the monster pot today. Let's get this out of the way. My water in, in this pot here, I've already uh, started to boil in the interest of saving time. I've got my chicken broth and my water pot is uh, halfway full. That's enough to cover the noodles that are going to go in later. What are we making today, Martha? Well, we are making bird stroganoff soup. You're probably thinking to yourself, ugh, what? that sounds yucky. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute now. We're going, instead of using meat for the stroganoff, which most people make beef stroganoff, we're going to be using ground chicken and ground turkey, which are high in vitamins B6 and B12, which are good for your anxiety. And then this pandemic that, you know, is it over, is it not over, who knows yet? How many booster shots have you had? Who cares? Who knows? Whatever. Anxiety. B6, B12 is good for anxiety. That's in the meat. In the beans over here, they are high in iron and potassium, which is good for your circulatory system also to keep you calm. I forgot to tell you that in the chicken and in the turkey is also selenium, which is your secret ingredient. It's for your metabolism. So we're eating healthy here because I'm not using sour cream and I'm not using all these fats in it. I'm using reduced fat cream cheese at the end. So let's get started. This is coming to a boil over here in the pot that's going where my meat's going to go. Let me get my spoon. I am using, instead of oil or butter, we're using an olive oil spread. So we're going to put one, two tablespoons. Let's turn this burner on. Get that up there high. Get this up there high. I'm going to tell you, I enjoy making the videos. I've had people tell me they enjoy watching them. Now, I know I've been cooking since I was five years old. When I was old enough to, to drag the kitchen chair over to the stove and stand in, I'd make my own oatmeal. I'd start making it for the whole family before they ever got up. I would start making French toast. I could cook when I was little because I love being in the kitchen. I still do. And some of these things, some of these recipes, the items that I'm cooking and recipes that I'm sharing, I, I'm over 60. I've tweaked over the years and I'm doing my best to try to be lower on fats and cholesterols in what we cook and lower on the sodium content. You should note that I've shared the recipe on my Facebook page but the uh, what anytime you're using a canned vegetable make sure you've drained them first because that greatly induces reduces the sodium content that's in the beans. Let's see. Almost ready. I'm going to put going to multitask today. I hope you're good at multitasking. You don't even have to, to look at this and say, oh, this looks so complicated. I can't do this. It's not. This is one of the fewer ingredients. It's not that expensive and it's really easy to make. It's just you got two pots going at one time. You don't really need to focus so much on, why well, wait a minute, what did she put in? When did she put this? What did she put in? When did she put in? It doesn't really matter because it's all going to go in the same pot in the end. What you really need to focus on is you, oh, my chihuahuas are on the foot. You really need to make sure that you cook the meat, brown it all the way through because we don't want to make anybody sick. Okay, my butter's, my, well, my, you know, quotation marks, butter. My olive oil mixture is starting to melt. I can go ahead and put my meat in to brown. This is ground turkey. Now, Harris Teeter, I couldn't find just regular simple ground chicken. They've got one that's got some olive oil and some herbs in it. It's going to make it even better. But if you just had regular ground chicken, that'll work fine too. Let me put my plate over here and sink, wash my hands off. As soon as this comes to a boil over here, this is, uh, once again, this is chicken broth and this is water to make up the difference. Pot's half full. Gonna brown, ground turkey and ground chicken. The only salt that I'm gonna add to the recipe is right now, I'm gonna do three quick little dashes. One, two, three. That's all the salt that I'm putting in the meal. Put the salt shaker out the way. Alright. I'm gonna let that stick. Let's see. Almost boiling. 
I got some steam coming off of it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my noodles in. That's close to boiling so we can move along with the recipe. I'm using, because it's called bird stroganoff soup, I'm, well, I'm going to probably butcher this word with my southern accent. Far, 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 far Y'all can laugh at me later. You can write comments and tell me how you're supposed to pronounce it. But it's the one that looks like little bow ties. However, I'm saying it looks like bird wings. That's the pasta we're going to use. The one that looks like bird wings. I got two 16-ounce bags. Any brand's fine. Anytime that you can buy a store or generic brand, Please do so. Save the money. Over here for trash. So in this pot right now, we've got chicken broth, water, the pasta, and we need one tablespoon of our. I'm gonna call it short man or butter or. Whatever, make sure we, we're using the olive oil to save cholesterol, so. I'm gonna keep, I might slip up and call it butter, but you know what I mean. I don't have any butter over here, that's what I'm using. Here's where the multitasking comes. No, don't trip off the chihuahuas. Don't you kinky right under my feet, I don't want to splash on you. Okay, turn this down a little bit. I got it on high. We're going to go down a little bit to medium heat. Because unlike hamburger, ground, ham, ground beef, this is a very tender, very fragile meat. Ground turkey, ground chicken. It can burn quickly, so keep your eye on it. How's everybody doing out there? Right there in Virginia Beach today. It started off, hey Chihuahuas. It started off at 60 degrees. It felt like, felt like fall. Felt beautiful out there. My dogs enjoyed it. It's not quite cold enough for the sweaters, but I've already got out the yarn. And got my crochet hook. It's a moving, getting it going. Trying to make them new hats because they've grown since last year. I have to make larger hats for them. I've only got one down, three more to go. Mail must have come. One of my Amazon packages might have been delivered. I'll check later. Turn my hand around so I hold it better. There we go. Keep that crushed down so it's covered with water. We don't want to have too much water. We might have to add water at the end though because once we get everything incorporated, it's supposed to be a, a soup. Yeah, keep, I mean, now, if you notice, I've got a different spoon over here. I'm not going to cross-contaminate. I'm keeping the spoon that's going in and out of the raw chicken, raw turkey over here. A different spoon for the pasta. You can fast forward through this bit, I guess. I asked my son, I said, how are all these people editing all these videos and all this stuff? And he says, Mama, they bought that video editor kit. It's like $79 a year. And I'm like, oh, man, if I'm, gonna spend, I'm spending that on my, my Amazon Prime videos. I'm not going to waste that on how to edit my own little videos. Only people watching are my little personal friends from my hometown in Boria. Shout out. Go Eagles. I guess that's still their mascot. Graduated in 1979. That's a long time ago. There's nothing offensive about an eagle as a mascot, so I'm pretty sure they haven't changed their mascot. Okay, that's not it's gray, it's not brown yet. It's, gotta go, it's not gonna get dark brown like hamburger meat, because it's not hamburger meat, but all the pink's gotta go away. So this is still, got to cook a little longer. These are still crunchy. These have got to get soft. Eventually, it's 
all going to go in the one pot. I still got my monster pot over there in case I've done my math wrong and Greensville County High School didn't teach me good enough math. <laughs> Actually, I went to UVA after that and I, you know, I'm pretty good on my math, so we'll see. I'm kind of counting in my head right now as I look around. I hope it's all going to fit in that pot. I always have a plan B. there. Hey, baby. Don't be on mommy's feet right now. I don't want to splash on you. Back up, bubble. If this had been ground beef you were using, he would drain, but this is not, this is not that much this is not really actually fat in there this is kind of the melted olive oil butter substitute that I'm using and the, the wetness of the meat itself it's a wet meat so I'm not going to drain that off I'm going to use that moisture in my soup pink, ah, a bit pink over there get that down almost ready All right, it's good enough to move to the next stage. We're gonna add our mushrooms. I'm using Baby Bella, but you could use any kind. Put this over here for trash. Onions, peeled and chopped. Got green peppers and garlic, also peeled and chopped. Green pepper, you're gonna take those core out with all the seeds in it and throw that part away because it makes stuff too spicy for you. Give you upset stomach. Sink water, wash everything. Ooh, still thinking it's all gonna go in one pot. We can take a bet line in Vegas right now. Will it fit in the pot? Will it not? <laughs> If your meat was still slightly pink, that's okay because it's still cooking more as I'm cooking down the vegetables, the mush, the mush, marshmallow, what the fuck? Mushrooms. <laughs> Don't put marshmallows in this, good gracious. Straight piece of garlic, put it back in the pot. Alright, let's check on our pasta. Still sounds clinky, clink, clink when your spoon hits it, so you know it's not al dente yet. Boil a little longer. I'm wondering which pot I have more room that I can add the rest of my my olive oil butter I think full butter spread too. I think I'm gonna put them with the pasta. And three more big big spots I bag spoon full. One, two, three. So I'm gonna say I use two thirds of the container. Back. Put the veggies in. Put that 
refrigerator. Some of the things you cook that you can sit there and you can do a little taste test as you go along. There's nothing to taste yet here. That's just buttered broth. It's got to break down more for you to taste it on that. So when I was in Walmart, they got not only the well, Halloween stuff's been out for a while. They put that out as soon as they put the back to school stuff up. They got the Hallmark Christmas ornaments out already. So I called my son and I, I, I took a, a, a little picture show. Him. I said, Any, anything here you all before it gets picked over and the best ones are gone? We'll just cut the fan off. He said, nope, I'm good, Mom. I don't see anything new. We got plenty of ornaments. I said, yeah, but anything new? He said, nope. I said, okay, so I'm thinking about going ahead and taking the tree. He said, you can't put the, you, that's not smoke now, that's just steam. Cut the fan off. He said, you can't put that tree up. I want you to know I always put my Christmas tree up early. My birthday's November 10th, so it's always up before then. I enjoy having the tree. It makes me happy. All right. It's almost time to put everything together in the pot, and I'm sitting here thinking, mm -mm. I don't have to be able to outrun my feet. I can't do it with my chihuahuas right under my feet. It might be safer if I just get the bigger pot. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to move over to the sink and get the bigger pot. That way I don't have to worry about my chihuahuas getting splashed. I'm just putting it in the bigger pot. Woo, that's up. I'm gonna cut this burner off because I'm gonna consolidate into one pot. I won't need, I'm gonna turn this pot down. Back up Tito, you can't be right there. Move over sweetie. That's yes, good boy. cooks down more. I'm trying to rush along so you can see everything that goes in it. Whew. Man, hold on. I can't see. Can you see? Let me show you everything that's in the pot. Let's see if you can see. going in. One tablespoon of yellow mustard. One tablespoon. There's another thing I say wrong all the time. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. You know what it is. You saw it. Tablespoon. Move that out of the 
the way. We're going to add in two packs of chicken gravy. My herbs I went ahead and chopped earlier in the interest of time. There's uh, rosemary, basil, thyme. We're going to put in a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Hush puppies, hush puppies, hush puppies. Which reminds me, usually growing up making soup, we would fry cornbread or fry hush puppies to go with it, but. Okay. Trying to be healthier. Let's get a clean spoon. Quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. My secret ingredient. Incorporate all that. Oh, that smells good. Yum, yum, yum. Go ahead and turn that down. Simmer. See if we can stop some of the steam. You know, that's what's good about home cooking. What you miss when you go to a restaurant is I had, steam is healthy. It's good for you. It's good for you when you're breathing in, especially if you've got a little bit of a little respiratory issue going on right there. That's steam. Good for the whole family. All right, we're down to the almost last of the ingredients here. Here go our beans. I've got cannellini, white kidney beans. They've been drained. I've got dark red kidney beans. They've also been drained. And sweet green peas. Drained as well. Get the hands out the way here. That's what you said, Martha. I know. What's going to give it that added stroganoff flavor is the last five minutes. This has got to cook. I'm gonna, this is going to cook about another 20 minutes, but my, my video will be going on and on and on and on and on. I'll come back and show a picture at the end once I've added in the cream cheese. But I'm going to use the reduced fat cream cheese, eight ounce pack. You'll just stir that in until it melts right before you're serving. As I said, we in the olden days, we used to serve, yeah, <laughs> olden days. <laughs> God, if I really old enough to call stuff olden days, I guess I am. We used to make fried cornbread or hush puppies. But what I'm going to serve it with is also a blast from the past. It was my brother's favorite cookies. And biscuit. Crackers, I should say. Favorite crackers. Okay. Let's show you what it looks like. Hope the steam cooperates. 